Export-oriented policy remains the key area in country's economy. In order to ensure sustainable and balanced growth of the economy, today great attention is attached to the state support of Kazakhstan's business in Russia. Several times a year, entrepreneurs take part in exhibitions and trade and economic missions in different cities. This is one of the state support measures implemented by the Chamber of International Commerce of Kazakhstan. The trade and economic mission of Kazakhstan's enterprises to Moscow took place in September. Personally for me, this mission was an opportunity to meet many people, many distributors. I met members of the Chamber of Entrepreneurs from various regions. Hopefully something will come out of this and we will start cooperating even more actively with the Russian Federation. This June, the first trade mission of Kazakhstan was opened in Novosibirsk. Every entrepreneur is guaranteed assistance in doing business in Siberia and the Russian Far East. This is the most promising region for the south of Kazakhstan and its eastern and central parts, since logistically we find it convenient to deliver products to the Russian Far East and to eastern and central Siberia. This is due to the fact that food delivery from central southern Russia is more expensive than from Kazakhstan. As we are part of the EAEU, we should use all the benefits of it. The mission to Moscow included 11 Kazakh enterprises. Our honey from Lab C was especially in high demand during the trade and economic mission. Other goods included fruits from South Kazakhstan, chemical products, building materials, etc. It is noteworthy that Russia buys dairy products in Kazakhstan for $30 million a year alone, fertilizers for $12 million and plastic products for $56 million. Generally speaking, processed products have a large export potential. Most often, Kazakh companies require support in their promotion, namely in marketing. The Republic of Kazakhstan has the largest turnover with Russia, about 20% of the total with all countries. Thus, last year, exports and imports between the countries reached nearly 16 billion US dollars. On average, each year the turnover grows by 20%. Russian deliveries, the amount of which is 2.5 times more than the size of counter deliveries, have an advantage. In turn, Kazakhstan's exports to Russia amounted to $4.5 billion. Commodity exports is a well-established process, whereas the export of food, generally processed products, is a new endeavor. The state and business are facing new challenges and goals to double the supply of Kazakh goods. The FK Kunststoffe factory sends 80% of the total export to Russia. The geographical reach is wide, Banaul, Chelabinsk, Tumen, and the most unique location where Kazakh products are delivered to is the Russian Far East, Khabarovsk, Vladivostok, and Sakhalin. Goods are delivered by rail. However, entrepreneurs take a risk. Frankly speaking, our profitability or margins of these deliveries are not very high, but there exists a principle of any production. With a large gross volume, it may be zero with some customers, whereas others give a big margin in the market. Due to this, in general, we optimize our production in terms of profitability. However, the producer says that every area becomes harder to export. Difficulties are experienced mainly due to the fact that imported commodities from which products are manufactured are becoming more expensive. Now the factory, together with the National Chamber Artemikan and local executive agencies, are looking for ways to solve this problem. The average import tariff of Russia, depending on the product category, varies from 0 to 16%. The highest tariff is set for products of the following commodity groups – weapons and ammunition and precious or semi-precious stones, precious metals, jewelry and coins. No import duties charged in respect of the works of art, collectors' pieces and antiques commodity group. Relatively low customs tariff rates are applied to the following commodity groups – mineral products and machinery, equipment, devices and appliances. According to Rostat, territories adjacent to Kazakhstan were among the largest regions of Russia in terms of import. 
These are the two men, Chelyabinsk, Samara, Novosibirsk, Oblast, and also Krasnoyarsk Krai. With the dynamic growth of Kazakh Russian joint ventures, cooperation potential remains inexhaustible. There is a good deal of work to do and great opportunities ahead.